Hi everyone, I hope you're all ticky to be. This is the traditional vlogging setup, isn't it? Yeah, your DSLR camera or this mirrorless one that I've got on here, the RP. Switch pod, yeah, or the Gorilla pod, whichever you tickles your fancy, and the old fairy cat on the top. And they are amazing. But there are times when you may not want to take that with you. So there's a really good answer to that, and I know you've all probably already thought about it, but it's the DJI Pocket the Osmo Pocket. It's a bloody good little piece of kit and it does fit straight in your pocket like that. The only thing is, is the audio on it. Um, I haven't that, been that pleased with the audio um, and it is a built-in microphone. It's not too bad after all, but there are some um, gizmos out there that can improve it. So today we're going to have a look at one that may well improve it and I'll give you my honest review. Let's cue the intro. The original. So I don't know what was happening in my voice then. When I said cue that intro, it went up in a high pitch, just like this. Let's cue the intro. Hey, Viva Las Vegas, baby! Okay, so in a minute, we'll have a look at what's in the box to go with the Osmo Pocket. It's basically a little tiny shotgun mic, just like the um, Rode ones that you have on top of your DSLRs or your mirrorless cameras. And then we'll actually get out in the field and give it a bit of a test. And I'll test it with it on and with it with the onboard microphone. So then you can get a real life test for you. I won't do any post audio things or anything like that. I'll just as, actually as it is out in the field. And then you can make your own mind up. I think it's going to be a bit better though. Anyway, before I do, as normal, I come up with an uninteresting fact, don't I? And do you know that the handshake was originally meant to prove that someone didn't have a concealed weapon? So when you shut the hand, if there's anything stuffed up the old sleeve, it'd actually dislodge it, hopefully. So if you're like me and you've played Assassin's Creed, you'll know that a handshake probably wouldn't have dislodged all those knives he has up there or any little guns and things like that. Anyway, let's go and have a look at what's in the box. See you in a sec. Let's have a quick look at what's in the box then. Okay. That one open. Seems to be nicely packaged anyway. Safety first, get this bloody knife out of the way. I normally end up cutting myself. What's in there? There's a card and registration documents by the looks of it. A little silica gel patch. And these look like they're gonna be the old uh, muffin tops to go on top of the microphones themselves. Yeah. Oh, that's quite weird. I suppose it goes over the whole lot. The instruction book. Have a look at that later. Get this lot out of the way. So, uh, the face of things, it looks pretty good quality. Get that out of the way. Right, so let's have a look. So it looks like there's little clips here for you to be able to clip the wire onto. And also what you've got to remember is you will need the um, DJI adapter to go in the bottom of there. So I'll have to get that one in a sec. But first of all, initial impressions on this. That's pretty good quality. Looks like there's a little lapse there. It's probably undone. So, oh, yeah, that's nice and strong as well. I would imagine this then clips over here. So let me go and get the uh, DJI adapter and we'll get it all plugged in. So there we have it, this little piece of kit here. It is the official DJI one, as you can see from these. So let's get them out of the way, just to show you that. There'll be a link down below for those if you're interested in getting one. Um, to be honest here, I've read loads of reports on different ones and everything else, and um, there's those are cheaper versions out there, but apparently they're not as good. And I find that with DJI stuff is that if you have to buy actual physical stuff from them, they are always a lot better quality but of course they cost a bit more money. Um, I think in the long run, it's better to save your money and get the proper one. Right, what I've done is attach the um, wind muff or whatever you call it, yeah, on top of the top there. Um, it doesn't look like a dead cat, so it's a little bit more inconspicuous, I suppose. The thing to note is, because it is um, stereo, you've got left and right, okay? And you'll need to have it fitted so it's in that way. So if you keep the comma cut at the top, you shouldn't go wrong, okay? It saves you having to pull that back each time. Right, let's see how it connects. Pretty straightforward. The old clip there is taken off, all right? And all you do is you place it, all you do there, yeah, is place it around there so it's over this where the mount goes. There's a nice cushion bit here as well. Let's pick that up because it's probably interfering in the noise. Nice cushion bit there, all right? It slots over and then this all neatly just slots down like that. It's as easy as that. Right, what I'm going to do is click the cable over there for now and then we'll go from there and connect it all up. So, last but not least, 
sit the DJI adapter in there okay and the USB port down the bottom and it's at right angles as well so there we go like I said you can tidy the cable up and we'll give that a go out and about in the field in a second see what it's like and obviously I've switched the gimbal on there as well so we'll see you in a bit Okay, I've got it all mounted together at the moment and it's in the vlogging mode, obviously, because you can see me. I'm in the studio. We're going to get outside, have a walk up and down the street, test it with this microphone on, and then we'll test it again with an um, internal mic so we can see if there's any differences. And um, you can make your own mind up from there. But I'm also going to go out and have a drive around in the car with it mounted on a dashboard with this one on and the internal. And that'll give you two really good tests. And hopefully that'll help you make your own mind up. So let's get outside. <laughs> Right, better put an ND filter on here today. Let's get that one on. That's a bit better. So if you're interested in the ND filters, by the way, I've also got um, a little video on those where I gave away a set of bloody good pieces of kit. So, so like I said, I'm just gonna walk up and down the street a little bit and you can hear the difference. I don't know if you can hear my flip flops or not, or the seagulls. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what that sounds like, um, but you'll be able to make your own minds up, won't you, in a second. In a sec, though, what I'll do is I'll switch it back to the internal mic and we'll go from there. That's probably far enough to give you a good old test, isn't it? Like I said, we will get out in the car as well. So let me get back to the studio and we'll walk through the same process with just the internal mic and then you can test them out yourselves. Right, so this is the test with just the internal mic on it. Um, I don't know what the difference is gonna be, but we'll open up the gate, get some clunking going. Here my flip flops through the water. Thankfully it's not raining today. Trying to be quiet, see if we can hear the seagulls again. There they go. We'll walk down the same distance, past the old uh, discovery there. We'll get out on that in a sec. We'll try it with both things on that. Right, again, that's far enough. I'm sure that's giving you enough time to actually listen to the two differences. And you can play it backwards and forwards anyway. You can't you rewind it, start it again. You can make your own mind up. Wind's blowing a little bit, like I said, it's not blowing hooly, but there we go. Right, let's go set it up in the car and we will see how that sounds. And this is, by the way, still the internal mic. See you in a sec. So this is one of the setups I have in the car. I'll show you in a sec how I set it all up. But the beauty with it is really you can't see it from outside. It's pretty inconspicuous unless people are really staring to have a look at it. The other thing as well, um, with the tracking or the face tracking, should I say, on the DJI, it tends to keep you in the frame pretty much. So let's have a quick look at how it's set up before I get driving around. And at the moment I have got the um, Comica mic plugged in, so hopefully you can notice a difference in the sound. Put the old EOSR on. Bloody hell. A little bit bright out there. Okay. So there you go. As you can see it, it's got a small rig clamp on there, small, small, small rig um, friction lock on there and it just sits up like that nicely. What I'm probably going to do eventually is get a piece of sponge to stop that because I'm sure that will make a knocking noise as we go along. Anyway, let's get driving around the block with the Comica mic on as it is and then what we'll do is we'll go around the block again with the mic on the inboard mic. Okay, let's have a look and see what it's like. Let's get a seatbelt on, haven't we? So, I've actually got the air con on as well just to give it a real good test and um, I may even switch the radio on in this sec. So, here we go. We're only gonna go around the block quickly. Nowhere special today, not gonna get out and about. And the radio's on anyway. So, let's have a bit of a chat while the radio's on. A real good test on it. So we've got the road noise, we've got the wind noise from the air con, and we've also got the um, radio on as well. Right, switch the radio off. And we head up here. Uh, if you can hear it now, I don't know what the um, white balance is going on or the um, ISO on there because uh, 
not really looking at it or paying attention. And that's one of the beauties of being able to put the Osmo Pocket in it, because you can actually concentrate on your driving, have a chat, have a look over every now and then, and see that it's dark, um, and that's it. So I'm sure you're probably bored now in my dulcet tones, and you've heard enough of the comical one. What I'll do quickly before I do those, turn the aircon off and see if that makes any difference as well. Right, I'll go around this corner and I will soon be home and I'll turn it over and do exactly the same test with the onboard mic. So I'll see you in a sec. Right, so now we're testing it with the onboard mic, okay? So we'll do exactly the same test. Put the old seatbelt on, start the engine up, and we have got the air con on as well and the radio. So you can hear me talking with that. And we'll get going. So now, again, this is the onboard mic with the radio on, the aircon on, and obviously the road noise from the car. So we'll get up here, and in a sec, we'll turn the radio off, see what that sounds like. And like I said, I don't know what this is going to sound like until I get back in the studio, but this is what we used to do with it. Um, obviously, I never used to have the radio on, but just to give it a really good test. So let's turn that one off now and see what it's like. Now, by listening to this, what you'll be able to do is make your own mind up of whether or not, oh, the picture looks a bit better this time, it's not so dark, perhaps the sun's going, that's why there's a big grey cloud over there, I'm glad I'm doing this now, get it out of the way. So, um, what you'll be able to do now is make your own mind up of whether or not it's worth an extra 40 odd quid or not. I hope it is going to be, because like I said, you know, um, it's nice to have that directional mic, and the other thing as well is all of this would quite easily fit in your pocket. Um, and the other side of it as well is that you know you can carry it around with you everywhere and you also don't need any battery on this mic so I'm fingers crossed it's going to be right. So I'm nearly home and what I'll do is get back in the studio now and then you will have heard all of these and tested them out for yourself. So see you in a sec. From that audio hopefully you can make your own mind up about it but me personally I think it definitely is a lot better. The onboard audio is okay, definitely is okay if you're in a little pickle or you've just got that in your top pocket and you're carrying it around. It's always worthwhile having it with you at any time because you never know when you're gonna see something happening or you know, wanna get out and do a little bit of vlogging. But there were a couple of things with it that I weren't too happy with. First of all, the little clips that you can see, it's just pops out on the side here. Yeah, those there, they're, they're, they're probably, I'll well, put a bit of tape around them or something like that, but they could be a little bit, um, firmer grip on them. The other thing as well, you notice I've actually dropped it down to the bottom. And the reason being, it's easy to hold in your hand then. It's a lot easier actually to hold then. Um, but you can also have this here, you can have the wheel on it. So I don't know if you can see that at the side there. So you can put the DJI wheel on it and you've really got the full setup in one little neat package. So that's my thoughts on it. Um, if you've got any questions on it at all, anything you want to ask at all, just leave them in the comments down below. You know, I'll always get back to you with an answer. I may not know the answer, but I'll always come back to you with something or point you in the right direction. If you've liked this one, hit that thumbs up. It makes me happy at the end of the day. And if you really don't want to miss out on stuff, like my uninteresting facts, because they're amazing, I know, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Cheers and gone.